please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad, and welcome to the first CHS TV of the school year. I'm Peyton Millard, and this is Robbie, <laughs> and we have a great show planned for you today. To kick it off, we have Avery live with Senior Sun Sunrise, and we have Scarlett live with Girls Tennis. Robbie, what else do we have? That's right, Peyton. We also have Annika on location, and Zoe live in the Magic Window to talk about the Olympics. Sounds like it's going to be an amazing show. To kick off the season, I'm Peyton Millard. I'm Robbie Rains. CHS TV starts, starts right, right now. now. <laughs> To kick off the season, we have a story on a professional saxophone player. Reese and Valley bring us this piece. I'm Jason Whitmore. I play saxophone professionally and uh, I've been playing my entire life. I, I think I chose the saxophone just because it seemed like a cool instrument. I honestly didn't really know uh, any different? I mean, I, I, like I said, I couldn't really name a, a professional saxophone player that wasn't like a, a, a somebody that I listened to that I was influenced by. Uh, I think the band director just sort of demoed all of the instruments, and I was like, yeah, I think I'll play that thing over there. I think music is a natural, uh, expressive vehicle. It's how I express myself, and um, selfishly, it feels good when I play and I get something out. I feel like I'm saying something that's kind of coming from within. Uh, I'm blessed to have had a lot of very memorable musical experiences in my life. I would say one of the biggest, though, was uh, when I played the national anthem the first time for the Los Angeles Lakers. Probably the most challenging thing about being a professional musician is that your job is never guaranteed. Uh, so you're essentially always creating your job. I love music so much. I love to listen to music. I love, uh, I'm always inspired by other musicians. Um, so I'm always listening and, and when I watch people perform, when I watch people create, it inspires me. It makes me want to play. Thank you for that story. The home sporting events we have this week here at Carlsbad are on Tuesday. We have JV and Varsity Girls Tennis playing at 3.30 and 4.30. Girls Varsity Golf at 4.30. Then freshman JV and Varsity Girls Volleyball will be playing at 4.30 and 6 p.m. Then on Friday, we have our first home football game. Frosh is at 5 p.m. and Varsity is at 7 p.m. And the theme is Back in Black. These are all home events, so Lancers, to start off the year strong, come and support your fellow students. Reminder that all students are required to obtain a permit if they are planning on riding a bike to school and parking it on campus. This applies to both e-bikes as well as non-powered bikes. Please see the City of Carlsbad website to sign up for the course to get your permit. Now we have Scarlett live with Girls Varsity Tennis to talk about their upcoming matches. Scarlett? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with Girls Varsity Tennis. So when and where is your match? Yeah, we have a home match tomorrow at 3.30 and we're playing Southwest EC. Awesome, and how is your season going so far? Our season's been going really great so far. We just came off of a win against La Jolla 14-4. Sounds great, and what are you looking forward to most this season? Yeah, I'm looking forward to coming really close with my teammates and making the most of senior year. Awesome, any shout outs? Julia Kelly, period two. Kira Kane, period two. Claire Sabella, period two. Awesome, make sure you guys go check out their match and I'll send it back to Peyton. Thank you, Scarlett. Football season is here. Follow at Carlsbad High School for the full schedule. The first home game is on August 30th versus Palos Verdes at 7 p.m. Reminder that the theme is back in black. 
Are you looking to promote your new or existing club? Email all the relevant information through our chstv.com slash announcement on page. page. Or come see Ms. Cohn before school or at brunch in room 5105. Next, we have Abe live with Girls Flag Football. Abe? Good morning, Carlsbad! I'm Abraham Sebastian, and welcome back to CHS TV. I'm live with a couple members of Girls Flag Football, something that I've never heard about in all my six years of broadcasting. I don't know how I've not heard about that. So, uh, would you mind, you know, like, telling me what exactly it is? If you don't mind. Yeah, of course. So uh, girls flag football is a new CIF sport. Um, we have a JV and varsity team at Carlsbad. It's basically seven on seven flag football with um, regular rules, except we pull flags instead of tackle. So a new sport. Uh, very nice. Very nice. And uh, let's see. So let's just say a little birdie told me that you guys had a tournament a couple days ago. Um, could you like describe like how that was? Yeah, so we had a tournament this weekend on Saturday, and we did actually really good. We went 2-1-1, one, and one, and we definitely learned a lot as a team. Awesome, awesome. All right, all right. And so um, do you mind telling, well, in your opinion, what's, what was the highlight of that tournament? The highlight of the tournament was definitely beating Sage Creek 32-0. Our defense was locked down, and we scored a lot of touchdowns. You guys are doing Carlsbad High School's work right there, beating Sage Creek. Now that is an honor right there. <laughs> and so, well, before we wrap up, uh, kind of, um, let's see. So what is the rest of the season going to look like for girls flag football? And, well, let's just say, like, what if we want to show our support as well? What do we have to do? It's a great question. Um, the future will look like a lot of wins. We have lots of tournaments, lots of games. That'll be super fun. Uh, you can support by showing up to one of our games. We have our first home game, I believe, next week on Tuesday. All right. Well, you heard it right, Carlsbad. I'm Abraham Sebastian. Thank you so much for coming on, and um, I'll send it back to the anchors at the desk. Thank you, Abe. The student store is open and stocked with great merch. You can order online for easy pickup, or you can walk into the store on campus. Teachers and students, would you like to have an announcement run on CHSTV? Fill out the form at chstv.com slash announcement. Taking a break from announcements, next up we have Avery talking to ASB about information on Senior Sunrise. Avery, take it away. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm live here with Mira and Adam from ASB to talk about some upcoming events and some announcements. So Mira, I hear there's some new class council info out. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so starting today, freshmen, um, the class council elections will go up, so make sure freshmen you cast your vote on the Five Star app. Be sure to do that, freshmen. And Adam, we have our very first senior event coming up. Can you give us some of the details? Yeah, so tomorrow morning we have our senior sunrise hike at the Calavera Hills Trailhead. Uh, meet there at 545, and uh, gonna, sunrise is going to be at 615. Uh, be there, be square. Be sure to be there in the morning and not at sunset, Carlsbad. And Mira, do you have any more reminders for Carlsbad? Yeah. So um, everyone, make sure you're following all our class accounts and the Carlsbad High School account to make sure you stay updated with everything that's going on at our school. Yeah, be sure to follow all those socials. And seniors, be sure to wake up very early tomorrow. We hope to see you there. And I'm going to send it back to Robbie at the desk. Thank you, Avery. Wondering what's on the menu for breakfast and or lunch day at CHS? You can find the monthly menu on the Carlsbad USD Nutrition page. All students are entitled to breakfast and lunch at no cost. The Lancer Locker is in need of new, packaged, personal hygiene products as well as shelf-stable food and school supplies. Items can be dropped off at the basket in the front office. Are you interested in engineering, STEM, or robotics? The CHS robotic teams are holding an informational meeting on Tuesday, September 3rd at lunch in room 2008. This program will give you a hands-on experience with engineering, programming, and making connections. Just drop into the meeting. Moving on, Annika is on location in the village tasting some new fall flavors from our favorite shops. Annie? Good morning, Lancers. My name's Annika Haik, and happy first day of CHS TV. Also happy first full week back at school and happy fall season. To start off this fall season, as you guys probably know, both Starbucks and Better Buzz have released their fall drinks. So today we are going to be comparing these two drinks. Now let's start off with Starbucks. 
As you guys can see or have probably known, Starbucks has now gotten these new paper cups at the Starbucks off Tamarack. However, while not all Starbucks carry this drink right now, it is becoming a state mandate to better support the environment. Now let's try it. These are both pumpkin spice lattes, so. That's pretty good, definitely a classic. It is pretty sweet. If you like sweet drinks, this definitely is the drink for you. I rate that a 7.5 out of 10 pumpkins. It's pretty good. Okay, now let's move on to Better Buzz. Wow, that's pretty good. It definitely has a richer coffee taste than the Starbucks drink. I personally rate it 8 out of 10 pumpkins. I love the taste of coffee, so if you do like that, this is definitely the drink for you. The Better Buzz in the Village just opened up, so make sure you guys stop by and try their drinks. And just make sure you get yourself a full drink sometime this season. Now, I hope you guys have a great first full week back at School Answers, and this is Annika Hike. Thank you, Annika. For our last break of the announcements, we have Zoe live on the Magic Window to talk about the Olympics. Zoe? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Zoe, live here on the Magic Window to talk to you about Ray Gunn. So, Ray Gunn was an Australian Olympian who went to the 2024 Paris Olympics to compete in breakdancing, and she received a lot of backlash and controversy online for her routine, mainly because it had a lot of unorthodox and seemingly random dance moves in it, specifically moves like the kangaroo hop and fake mic drops. So, Ray Gunn did end up scoring a zero in the first round and was eliminated, but backlash and bullying online really sparked after false allegations came out claiming that she cheated her way into the Olympics. These claims were proven to be false. However, the bullying has not stopped and breakdancing, which was a probationary event at the 2024 Olympics in Paris, has been removed from the roster of events at the 2028 Summer Olympics in LA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll send it back to the anchors at the desk. Thank you, Zoe. Each Wednesday, the Carlsbad Farmer's Market is hosted in the village with hundreds of unique vendors. Tomorrow's story narrows in on a few of them. Let's take a look. My favorite thing about being at the market is just meeting nice, you know, nice people, nice local uh, families here out shopping. Looks like a great story. Tune in tomorrow for that piece. Have a great day, Lancers.